welcome back O'Brien. Thank you guys so much for coming to my channel. I am so, so happy that my fiance is here officially. She's in America, she's in Hawaii, and we are beyond thrilled. No more long distance, no more video chats, no more just line messages, WhatsApp, video uh, messaging, you know, when it comes to doing Facebook. Finally, she's here and we can finally start our journey as, you know, fiance to fiance and just start our life together, our new chapter and just start getting ready for our wedding. Um, if you guys are new to this channel, hello, my name is Brian. I'm from Honolulu, Hawaii, and I'm showcasing my K-1 visa journey with my fiance that was living in Thailand, but now she's officially in America, in Hawaii. Uh, this video, guys, going forward, as you guys already know, it's all for entertainment purpose only. I am not a financial advisor. I don't work for immigration service. I don't work for the USCIS. All I do is provide lots of updates when it comes to K-1 visa. I give you guys my feedback. I've done my research. I put all these latest videos to get you folks informed going forward. Uh, but other than guys, I am just so happy that um, majority of the people that I've been messaging and you guys are commenting and posting, congratulations to everyone who actually passed their interview. You guys did it, actually did your research, you guys got approved, and now your fiance is coming to America. And it's the best feeling um, that anyone can ever experience. So congratulations. And to everyone that's going through this King One Visa, keep going, keep going strong. Stay positive, stay on course. Do what you can do to um, stay busy and focused and start prepping and organizing once you get approved, once your um, stuff is gonna be in transit. And also when you guys are preparing for the interview, start thinking ahead, start thinking like what forms you're gonna be printing out, how much you need to save up when it comes to paying for the embassy fee. What do you do when it comes to setting up your um, evidence, you know, for your relationship when it comes to the interview? You know, what do you have to prepare once that your fiance gets to that certain point? So start thinking ahead, guys. This is the perfect time if you guys are waiting around and there's nothing else to do. This is the way that I want you guys to start ahead at the same time too. But you guys, I am so happy that my fiance is actually here. This is literally day five. So she arrived pretty much on the day on Saturday. Um, she got here basically on time and I had to wait about a good hour to make sure she gets passed through customs, immigration, and she got off the plane and then she got to get her baggage and everything. Um, so she was supposed to land around 8.30, but I figure it's gonna be about an hour or 45 minutes to know she has to go through the immigration and provide all the stuff that she needs to do in order for her to check through. So by the time she pretty much uh, got through the baggage claim and she was exiting out, um, you guys will see the clip right now of how her reaction was. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, that's pretty much uh, how she reacted. My my fiance is very, <laughs> she's very shy on the camera, but we were super excited to hug, kiss, and just be reunited. And it still to this day feels so strange to know that she's actually here. It's because I'm so familiar from going to see her in her country where she lives at the same time too. So it's just such an opposite reversal that she's actually here in America, in my time zone and my own country. And it just, I don't, it just hasn't hit me, but it's like, wow, I can't believe she's here. I don't have to video call her. It's just so surreal. So I, I, I don't know if anyone felt the same way like I do, but it's just a, a very interesting um, emotion feelings when I'm going through. But other than that, guys, uh, she finally got everything settled in. She got everything unpacked and she finally got a cell phone line. 
Uh, she is finally getting her things all set up for the apartment. We already went uh, shopping. You know, here's some few pictures that we went to like uh, Costco. Costco was a big thing where she got to see the whole warehouse of like all food supplies where we can get things as well to in large quantities. Um, we definitely got a chance to um, cook together so she made some amazing Thai food like I, I'm telling you guys that if your fiance can cook for you oh my god congratulations because I'm so lucky that my fiance can cook I, I love to cook too but I'm not good at Thai food uh, cooking so for her to bring her Thai inspiration her style and then my American it's a blend of cultures together and it's the best of both worlds like I mean we're both passionate people so I can't wait for her to um, cook me so many different varieties so um that's pretty much about it like we're just trying to get everything ready for her to get things kind of like rolling and you know seeing the culture of where i live you know we definitely need to make sure she has to have her uh, bank account to have it open like a checking account i gotta definitely make sure she can apply for a social security card as well too so we have that schedule starting from uh next week as well uh, we definitely gonna make sure that once we get married, we gotta definitely apply for the marriage license and then start planning for the wedding. And then later, that's after we get married, we're gonna apply for adjustment status. So just stay tuned guys for that new video when it comes to like, what do you have to do next after you get married? So there's gonna be a lot of content going through that because I wanna show you guys what you need to provide, what, what forms you need to do, how much it's gonna cost. So I hope that you guys are still following this journey and um, seeing what we're going through. But no more long distance, guys. I'm telling you, this is the best thing ever when you get to have your fiance land and she's actually here in America. Like this is like the best thing that could ever happen to us because we're finally here. She's happy, she's content, she's out of her own country. Yes, she still misses her family, my fiance. And um, She's still jet lagged, so it's gonna take time for her to readjust of um, Hawaii time zone, the weather. It's gonna take time for her, but you know, she's already been a such amazing fiance. She's helping me out so much of doing, um, you know, simple chores, cooking, uh, making sure everything is good for me for like the next day, um, uh, keeping me posted on text messaging. So it's always good to have communication with her to know like, um, you know, if she needs anything, I'm always gonna be there for her. So we're very proud of each other, like how everything's going so smoothly. And um, yeah, let's see where everything takes out. But I just wanna show you guys my journey, what's been going on and you can see the smile. It's a huge smile. I'm so happy that I hope that this can have that same feeling when if you guys get approved and I hope you guys experience what I went through as well too. But in the meantime, just want to let you guys know what's going on if you guys enjoyed this video as always do me a huge favor and hit the like button and post your guys comments down below if you guys enjoy this video and my reaction of how everything's happening if you guys new here please subscribe let's get to 10,000 subscribers that's the goal i really want this channel to bloom up and also to provide more content and show you guys more about my journey and going forward when it comes to doing k1 visa as well but you guys have a great, wonderful afternoon. You guys stay safe. And as always, aloha.